while he has delighted fans for years on programs like Whose Line Is It Anyway? and his Radio 4 show Loose Ends, Clive is also quizzed about Margarita Prakatan, the zany Cuban-born singer made famous on James's TV series in the 1990s. He said, it still happens the whole time and the ones who get it most wrong, sadly for them, is when they're trying to be super polite and they say, hello, Mr. James. Whereas other people will just start a conversation and say, Oh, I love you and I love that TV show you did at New Year. James, who is also a prolific poet, critic and writer, died in 2019, aged 80. Clive, 70, adds, They ask what's happened to Margarita Prakatan and I say, I don't know. That's not my show. But they insist. They say, Clive Anderson, I love you, you're Australian, aren't you? And I reply, I'm not Australian, that's Clive James. Then they say, who is he? And I say, he's the person you are thinking of. They still think I'm Clive James even though he is dead. I did meet him a few times and we joked that we had the same name. I think he got the name first but we were sufficiently similar in some ways and I can see how people do mix us up. I think in the end he took a long time dying. He had about two or three things wrong with him and he wrote a whole book of poems about dying and a poem about the cherry tree that he planted in the garden and how it would be there long after he had gone. However, in the end, the tree died before he did. The TV and radio host said he is baffled at how easily upset audiences can be. It's funny how people get upset about one remark or joke and you think blimey, I've been on radio and before that TV, every week for many decades, and you have got to pick this one thing out. At Cambridge University in the early 70s Clive was part of the famous Footlights Theatre group, alongside John Lloyd, Griff Reese Jones, and Douglas Adams. He also wrote for Radio 4's topical sketch show Weekending. Called to the bar in 1976, where he specialized in criminal law, he continued to write gags for the likes of Not the Nine O'Clock News and Alas Smith and Jones. His stand-up career blossomed, with appearances at the opening night of the Comedy Store in 1979 and regular work as a studio warm-up man and hosting radio showcase The Cabaret Upstairs. In the late 1980s he hosted Channel 4's improvised comedy Whose Line Is It Anyway? and his own chat show Clive Anderson Talks Back, each running for 10 series to great acclaim. The 1990s also saw him in a less cynical mode, presenting travelogues for Great Railway Journeys and two series of Our Man In. I do feel old when people come up and say my granddad used to love whose line is it anyway? Actually it's only just stopped airing in the US. Laughs Clive. Clive's wife Jane is a doctor and he readily admits her research into HIV is more worthy than anything he has achieved. It's very difficult to moan about things in broadcast and comedy, compared to a job which is saving lives, he states simply. People were dying from this deadly disease but, in effect, it has been conquered by treatments that have been developed. Clive is now starring in Winner's Curse at the Park Theatre in Finsbury Park, London. He plays a peace negotiator in the comedy by Dan Patterson, co-creator of Mock the Week, and Daniel Taub, former ambassador and Middle East peace negotiator. Two countries are locked in a battle over a strip of land when a fragile ceasefire provides a chance for peace, he explains. They call it a comedy and there are jokes but it is also quite serious about the issues in a negotiation. 
it's very topical given what is going on in Russia. Having recently turned 70, along with Jane, Clive admits, I kind of suit 70, I suppose. Years ago, you were written off at that sort of age. But the way things work for my generation, more and more people are still working. There's never really a sharp drop off the cliff. Your work may go down or up a bit but I don't know if I'm ever going to know when I'm finished with everything. Winner's Curse, Park Theater, February 8th to March 12th Park Theater. Co.uxacomedy.co.uk